Faith Mutambi has switched on the community of Carnarvon in the Northern Cape. They've changed from analog transmitters to digital terrestrial television. The square kilometer area, or the SKA, is situated in the area, so residents have been experiencing some signal challenges. The town is the first in the country to be introduced to digital terrestrial television. And this is the country's first major step towards DTT, which will be viewed from direct home set-top boxes connected to satellite dishes. The set-top boxes have been provided to people in Carnarvon by the Department of Communications. The moment that we've all been waiting for, Minister, uh, you switching off analog now. You will be able to, to see the difference. We've got televisions, two televisions, two television sets down there. They'll be able to, to show you what happens when she switches off analog as we going digital now. Should I count down? Yes. One, two, three. There we go. There we are. That's the Minister of Communication, Faith Mutami. Wow. Switching off analog now. Northern Cape officially migrated to a digital like uh, they were explaining earlier on. That you'll get to see clearer pictures. The sound quality on your radio stations will be much, much more clearer. Eh, uh, Ropet. Eh, hi, Rukulibu. Rukulibu, Apalesa, Zuchimbira, Zuko Itaya. It's happening right here. Well done, South Africa. Speaking to community members later, the communications minister highlighted the importance of the big switchover. The implementation of this program, ladies and gentlemen, and the, the event today is a milestone that witnessed the first of the 2,000 high and lower power analog transmitters to be switched off across the country. This analog switch off marks the beginning of the process to release the radio frequency spectrum required to support the groundbreaking scientific discoveries for many years to come. So today then marks the beginning of the analog switch off and this is a major national event and as we said it's within the Northern Cape region of the square kilometre array. So let's get more now from the launch. Our reporter Puleng Mudupe is in Carnarvon. Puleng, uh, this is certainly a milestone of sorts. We've finally gone digital. It should also attract the attention of global stakeholders but maybe just explain to us why they started the launch there. <laughs> Well, uh, good day, Natasha. Yes, as you are saying, it's a milestone in Carnarvon. Uh, it's the first in the country to go digital. And as you understand that the Minister of Communications, Minister Faith Mutambi, switched off analog transmitters this morning. So we've been chatting to community members and they are quite excited, saying now for the first time they are able now to access clear quality pictures on their television channels. Now we all know that we have the SKA here um, in uh, uh, in, in Carnarvon, uh, whereby the satellite dishes, they have been uh, sort of uh, interfere, they interfere with most of the televisions here in Carnarvon. Now the community members, they are happy, they are saying that uh, finally that will be the thing of the past. To explain to us more about that, I'm joined by the DG at the Communications Department, Master Mjelele. Good day, sir. Good day. Can you please explain to us, just in short, what does this mean for the community of Carnarvon? Because as we understand, they have been having uh, uh, challenges when it comes to uh, getting a clear quality pictures on their televisions. Thank you so much. Um, I think um, what this means for the community here in Carnarvon and the surrounding areas is that there are challenges that they've been having in terms of accessing a clear quality television will be a thing of the past. Uh, as government, we have made a commitment to ensure that um, we meet our international obligation, ensure that there is no interference that happens between the television signals and what is happening within the SKA area. In this regard, I think the people here will be enjoying clear quality pictures uh, from now on uh, going forward. So now, uh, what next? We have Carnarvon that have now been officially switched on DTT. What next? What does it mean now for us, uh, for DTT? For us as government, we, we are soldiering on. Uh, our mission is to finish the entire Northern Cape province. Uh, we hope that in the next few months we'll be able to do that. Uh, from that, uh, from Northern Cape, we are going to Free State uh, because uh, we are only we are focusing in the main first of all uh, in the areas where there's um, uh, where borderline areas. Uh, for example, in Free State, you've got Lesotho, so we'll go to Lesotho and finish Lesotho. From Lesotho, uh, fr from um, 
uh, Northern Cape from Free State will be going to Mpumalanga and parts of KwaZulu Natal because of uh, bordering with Mozambique. Uh, from those two provinces, we'll then go to Limpopo because of Zimbabwe. Uh, from Limpopo, we go to Northwest Province because of Botswana. And then from there, we go to Eastern Cape and then we go into uh, Western Cape and then we finish in, in Houting. And we hope that within in the next 18 24 months, we would have covered the entire country. Now, uh, as you are saying that you are focusing on places where there are borders, so I suppose the most uh, important questions on people's mind now is now, why Carnarvon in the Northern Cape? Is, does it have to do with the SKA? Yes, of course, you are right there. Carnarvon and the surrounding areas has to do with the SKA area. I think earlier on you said there has been interference, people were not receiving services here. And I think one of the requirements of the SKA area, the, it must be a frequent quiet zone, uh, and hence, therefore, we have to start here in this area so that we can be able to meet the obligations in relation to the SK uh, commitments that we've made as a, as a country. There we have it, uh, Natasha. Uh, like Mr. Mjalele is saying, he's saying that uh, they chose Carnarvon in the Northern Cape, particularly because of the SKA. As now, uh, the, the quality of the pictures on TV, they were not clear because of the signal emitted by the satellite dishes. Uh, now, what he's saying is that they will now be moving to other parts of the country, including uh, places that are near the border lines, like Bo Lesotho and Botswana. Uh, with that, Natasha, it's back to you in the studio. Thank you very much, Pauline Modupe, live from Carnarvon in the Northern Cape.